Very good. Well done. Yeah. So, this prelude has two different notations. Are you familiar with the other one? It's the uh, same text, but it's in smaller note values. Mm -hmm. But uh, what you play is, is very good because it's a la breve, and this, this, is, this is the only tempo instruction by Bach far as I know, in, in this volume. There are very, very few. So this Allegro alla breve is very, very important. So two in a bar. No? All right. Uh, be, be a little bit more conscious of the two in a bar. So don't play four. All right. And um, a tonfall, what is that in G English? The it's a good question. <laughs> it's a very good word in German, Tonfall. The, the color of the, the charac character of the piece. I don't know a better translation. So it's very, all the B minor pieces, are, they have a, a pitch, black, pitch black color to me. When weather is... Uh, <laughs> This is this is very stormy, and it's good what you play, but but don't <coughs> don't get angry. I f sometimes I find there you are angry. I'm sure you don't want to be, <laughs> but expressive and passionate, yes, but not angry. Okay, and um, all right. So let's let's look at the prelude now. Start again. Obviously, this is also a dominant, no? You know? Try to play it more in with a sense of harmony. But it's just notes. I Soprano play at the same time. So it was the This is a, a guest tone. Like so, make make it conceal the the neighboring notes a little bit. Yes, all right. Now put put it together. Okay, and now so uh, in the fifth bar, what what happens now? We have an inverted counterpoint, yes? So what was here? <laughs> However, this is uh, not exactly the same as that. Uh, 
Yum hi pa ta wum pa di da. The first beat is missing, yes? Even more emphatic, yes? All right. The fifth bar, please. In a fugue, we have episodes. Even in a prelude, we have an episode here. Because uh, um, something else is within. from here thing when you get to in the fugue in D major I find that uh, again you've played <laughs> light light and shadow <laughs> okay so we have we have the, the same tonal relationship here. Yes? Um, all right. <laughs> and these syncopations. this passage it's a little bit careless the <laughs> voice leading the Subdominant yet, yeah? Here, 
Dum ta da 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 one more time, how we get into that? It needs to have a preparation. It has a preparatory dominant. It's not just suddenly here, but it has an upbeat. Yeah. Yes. Well. I think that's a, that's a gentler material. And here, F sharp minor, yes, we had not four bars of the theme, but only a fragment, only two bars, yes? So go, go. Yeah. Two bars, another two bars. Again, and then the phrasing from the second part, second quarter note. Not from the downbeat, yes. down play just that so we hear the the rising fourth you know together no, no. this is a Biblical question. Yeah. This is not, not every day. Yeah, so, okay, play this, just the bass line alone. Very good. Now play it with two hands light. Hand, 
but I have to hear the, all the suspensions. Very good. Now play the other part to it. No, the two together. Pam, pam, two down bows. All right. Da -da 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 pam, pam. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Um, da -da 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 -dum, da -da -dum. You know how the intervals are larger and larger, and we have to stress that. Very good. Now, play through the whole prelude. Molto espressivo, ma non aggressivo. Okay? <laughs> So just when you before the G D major, if you would make a quasi diminuendo, mm. Mm. yeah, then you don't have to make something new, but make it more organic. <laughs> yes. All right. Fuga. Yeah. Version of 
of the people. Suggestion of going to the dominant, but it's still. function what do you feel what where do you think we are there what harmony do you feel here? yes here you feel that good then then it makes two of us <laughs> very good now pim pa dum pam pam yeah uh, i accept this phrasing it uh, you could do it here pam 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 But what you do is fine, but then be consistent, yes? It's not once like this, once like that. It's either fish or meat, yeah? or vegetables, but then only vegetables. Yeah? So don't, uh, once you decide, and the yum, the third, Eighth note is an upbeat. Yum, bum, bum, bum. No? The character is is very good, but it should be even more more biblical. Yeah. In the Saint Matthew Passion, when they arrest Christ after Judas brings the Romans. Uh, uh, yum, bum, bum, bum. Donner and you know, lightning and and uh, thunder. So it's uh, those are the words. With blitz and und donner sind mal ha 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 hum bum bum bum. Yeah, all right. subject goes there. So this is imitating. Yeah, I would like to hear that more consciously. Da capo. here before the third voice comes here with these very characteristic <laughs> more than you have to bite into it <laughs> al dente yeah, that's very good that's right <laughs> Have a bite. Good. Yeah. Okay. But here uh, uh, it's another episode with the uh, canonic bites. Tara prrm, patatara prrm, patatira prrm, patatam, but not so loud here, yes? Okay. Let's go from the third theme, the bass theme, yes? Okay, that's good. You always take away. Take 
take away your hand very <laughs> in the alto, yes? Let's just hear that once more. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Mm. Yes, the canon has to follow the tira yes. Yes, and it's very difficult because the voice is cross here. Play just the that bass, yes. Yes, and then. Beautiful, this progression. I hear this like lontano, far away. Yeah, the perspective. It's important, not not so near, but far away. Yes. All right, one more time. From the trio, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry to torture you. Stay very lyrical in E major. Good. Can we look at this this episode? This is very extraordinary because again we had very little chromatic. Yes, um, play this one. quite slowly yes so you see the which here your d natural 
natural. And here comes the D sharp. It's horrendous. Mm -hmm. Tempo, yes. That's right. Very good. And then it's when it Where is that manuscript again? <laughs> it's just because it's just this fugue, no? Thank you. Have you seen this? No? Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it's fantastic. Huh? Again, the, so take these these wavy lines as your source of source of inspiration. Everybody sh should always have a page of Bach with them. It's wonderful. Huh? So to the chromatic episode. Mm -hmm. said in at the beginning of the fugue that you feel already these seven scores. Yeah. <laughs> so always give it the thim pum and one and end. The end is more important than the one. Rim pum pum pim pum pum pi Okay. the imitation yeah just play that but the F sharp Start that from the upbeat, yes? Here. Yeah? Play that, please. In the 
instead of the yum bum bum it's a variation. horizontal yeah because we have chop 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 so you don't play it like that it's very good p yum bum bum p ya ta 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 tum but yum bum pim bum this is very vertical but here in i find it very horizontal and the two work well together now please play the fugue through yeah but don't think too much, <laughs> just a little. <laughs> was expressive but not so wide but keep the keep the passion that's good hope I didn't confuse you I hope I didn't confuse you no it's very good thank you very much thank you.